Windows 8 is all about new ways of using your computer. Well, maybe not new. I mean, some of these things, if you have a smartphone, you're already familiar with. But we're going to show you guys a quick guide on the gestures that will make your life easier if you're using Windows 8 with a touch-enabled display, whether it's a tablet, a laptop, or a desktop. Our first gesture is panning with inertia. You can use one finger or two fingers, and all you got to do is find the app that you want to pan around in. And if you are familiar with touchscreen interfaces, you've probably seen this before. So with inertia basically just means that even once your finger leaves the surface, it will continue to move. So watch this. One finger panning with inertia, so it keeps moving. Two fingers panning with inertia keeps moving from that as well. Our next gesture is highlighting. So all you got to do is find some text or something you want to highlight, touch the screen, and drag it in either direction in order to select. So for example, we're going to launch Microsoft Word, and all we got to do is hold for a second, not quite that long. Sorry, that was a right click. Just hold, and then you can move back and forth and highlight whatever you need down to a by character degree of accuracy, which is a huge improvement over some touchscreen implementations I've seen in the past where it limits you to word blocks. And zoom is, of course, important. Now, we can try Slick's little nightly Firefox thing, but what we discover is that for zoom, which is two touch points, and spreading them apart or contracting them together, you can use two fingers on the same hand as well. Uh, it's going to come down to application optimization. So if we go back to the Start menu, this is a cool thing about Internet Explorer. There's another cool thing about Windows 8 is it is extremely fast to search for things. And in an optimized browser, Zoom is extremely smooth and looks absolutely fantastic. You know, panning around and zooming at the same time. Yes, touch is here to stay, folks. Rotation is something that's pretty applicable. You know, you got photos, you want to rotate them. It used to be you had to right click and then rotate in a particular direction. Now you just reach up at the screen. You can either put down one finger and pivot the other one around it like this, which I personally find a little awkward, or you can take two fingers and rotate them in order to flip pictures around. Oh, switch between pictures apparently. This is Slick's brother's computer, by the way, in a Cosmos 2. That's uh, Slick back here in the picture. And that's rotate. Now, there are a few more gestures in the Windows Guide, including right-clicking by holding down one finger and tapping the other, flicking, which is somehow different from panning and keeping your finger on the page. Personally, I don't find it to be that different. I suspect most developers won't do it any differently, as well as a two-finger tap. So these are not necessarily specified in terms of how they're going to be used by developers, but I think what we're going to see over time is more and more creative use of these touchscreen gestures in the OS now that it's fully integrated. I mean, it's even, it's almost like a voyage of discovery, little cool things like discovering how the OS works. You drag in from the right, you have access to your search, your control panel, all that good stuff. I even just found out that you can zoom out on the not Metro interface itself, and then you can see a much more, well, zoomed out version of it. So there's so many cool things that touch enables. Thank you for checking out this episode about touchscreen in Windows 8. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips.